remember that here we are trying to develop body awareness and um, develop the connection between mind and body and slow down the nervous system, bring a sense of calmness. So um, we are going to be on the floor for the whole time today. If you have a pillow next to you, I would like you to place the pillow under the head and work with the pillow under your head for the whole time during this class. It doesn't have to be a big pillow, any support, maybe a blanket, folded blanket, whatever you have near you. And then lie on your back with the head on the pillow and then bend both knees and place your feet on the floor. If you don't have a pillow, that's okay too. I just want to make sure you to make sure that you are not uh, bringing tension to your neck. So keep going back to your neck as you practice back of the head, neck, upper back to make sure you're not tensing up those areas too much as you move. So bend both knees, place your feet on the floor, knees together, ankles together, and then connect the soles of your feet, allow the knees to drop to the sides. Just allow the legs to drop. Legs are heavy, relaxing. And then bring the heels a little closer to your hips, if possible. Notice that your knees will go up a little bit. But mostly make sure there is no pressure in your lower back. So if you need to get your heels up further away from the hip, it's okay too. And then interlace your fingers, place the hands under the head. If you're using a pillow, you can have the hands under the head or under the pillow. Here, make sure that you don't have too much sensation inside your shoulders, neck, um, shoulders, all this upper part, cervical area is uh, very sensitive, is the most sensitive part of the spine. So you really need to connect with those areas and try to keep releasing them, observing and releasing, observing and releasing as you practice here. So allow the body to accommodate into this position. Observe your back adapting to the floor. Don't, don't press anything into the floor, just stay there, breathing normally, observing your breathing without interfering with it. Notice where the air flows to, maybe inside your belly, maybe your chest. And notice the massage that the breath gives you. With every inhalation and exhalation, try to notice what moves inside your body. Then rotate your head to the right, keep the neck open in the front. So move slowly and notice the moment your chin wants to get closer to your chest. So you're like closing up the front of the neck. We don't want that to happen. So keep your nose pointing up, find the end of the movement. Don't add too much effort here. If you feel that you're uh, making a lot of effort to keep the chin away from the chest, just back off with the head movement a little bit and make sure you can rest here. Mm -hmm. 
Then bring your awareness to your left shoulder. And if you are bringing the shoulder away from the floor, allow the shoulder to release back towards the floor. Notice if that increases the sensation in your neck, shoulders, maybe armpits, maybe elbows. It's different for everybody. Then very slowly bring your head back to neutral. Nose will point up towards the ceiling. Notice the sensations that you had disappearing, fading away. Then change the way you have your fingers interlaced. Allow the neck to rest. Head is resting on your palms. And then press the soles of your feet together and pull both feet a little closer to your hips. Now again, observe what changed in the sensation. Allow the lower back to accommodate again. Notice your breath, follow your breath. Observe the internal massage. And then rotate the head to the second side, to the left, remembering to keep the front of the neck open. If you move fast, you will uh, probably lose the chance to see the exact, to notice the exact moment mm -hmm. your chin gets closer to the chest or when the very first of, uh, layer of sensation shows up. Then notice if your nose will is pointing towards the elbow. Keep the neck open. Then bring your awareness to the left shoulder. Allow the left shoulder to return to the floor. Don't press your arms down, but allow gravity to bring them down without you fighting it. Unless you have a whole lot of sensation, uh, in, the, in that case, you have to open your arms to the sides. So unless you, do, you have to open your arms to the side, if you're having too much sensation, just feel your arms dropping. Notice the connection between all the upper, that upper part of your body. And then very slowly bring your nose up towards the ceiling. And then stay with your arms uh, under the head and very slowly start to bring your legs up, knees together, placing both feet on the floor. Feel your back table on the floor. Knees together, ankles together, feet touching. Feel the points of contact of your back with the floor. And then re gently release the arms from under the head, the hands from under the head. If you can slide your forearm on the floor, that's ideal. But if you can't, just notice the moment you have to lift the arms 
always being connection with the sensations that you feel here. So if your heels are far from your hips, bring, bring them a little closer, knees together, and then interlace your fingers around the right knee and pull your knee to the right shoulder. Right foot is relaxed and the shoulders are relaxed. If you're leaning towards one side, um, try to balance the weight on both sides. Notice your back on the floor. And then slide both hands towards your shin and continue to pull your leg towards you. Press the calves against the back of your thigh, the thigh against your abdomen. Deepen the movement, feel the flexion of the knee. Maybe you feel the, a little pinch in the front of your groin. Make sure your hip is on the floor, both sides on the floor, stable. Pull your leg a little more towards you, making sure that your shoulders are trying to return to the floor. So your chest is open. And then slowly release the leg. And now extend the right leg up towards the ceiling. Your arms can be by your side with the palms facing up, or you can turn the palms down if that helps you. Make sure that your knee is extending. Press the right side of your hip against the floor. Extend the right knee, then flex the ankle, toes towards you. Observe if you're using the head, the neck, the upper back to do that movement, to help in the movement. Try not to. And then bring the leg a little closer to you, half an inch without bending the knee. And then release the ankle. Flex the knee, bring the foot to the floor. Pause here for a moment. Feel your back on the floor. Feel your shoulders on the floor. Release the shoulders towards the floor. Feel how your head is pressing into the floor. Notice the structure of your neck. And then with your back stable, interlace your fingers around the left knee and bring the left knee towards your left shoulder. Here, just feel your back on the floor. So when you bring the leg, more of your back, more areas of your back will touch the floor. So notice that. So you're not pressing the back. It's a passive movement that happens because you folded at the front of the hips. And then slide both hands towards your shin. Keep bringing the leg towards you. Keep the leg pressing into the abdomen. Feel the back of your leg touching.
Notice how the sensation changes here. Observe your shoulders, your upper back, neck and head. Keep bringing, keep your left hip on the floor. And then slowly slide your hands back to your knee, left knee. Then release the leg. Have your arms alongside your body, palms up or down. And you can place your foot on the floor if you want. So you notice the contact of the hips with the floor. Now extend the left leg up. Keep the left hip on the floor, extend the knee. First, the knee extension. Then press the left hip again into the floor. Don't let the contact between your hip and the floor. Um, don't lose that contact. Knee, knee extending, knee extending, and then Flex the ankle, toes towards you. Feel the work deepening in the back of the leg. So even if you have to lower your leg, make sure that your knee's extending. Then bring the leg closer to you without bending the knee. And now if your palms are up, turn the palms down and you can press into the floor with your palms. Keep the left leg where it is. Bring the right leg up, knee extending, legs together, flex both ankles, press one leg into the other, extend the knees up, extend the knees up. And now release the ankles, bend the knee, Place your feet on the floor. <clears throat> Feel your back on the floor. Keep your knees bent. Feet on the floor. And again, interlace hands around the right knee and bring the right knee towards you. Just a little bit. Don't bring it all the way towards your uh, right shoulder. So the moment your minute, your movement stops without you making effort to bring the knee towards you, align the knee with the center chest. So bring it in a little bit towards the left. So it will be aligned with the center of your chest and then bring the knee towards you. So feel the difference in the sensation inside your hip. Your chest is open, shoulders releasing. Both hips on the floor. So usually when we bring the knee towards us, we tilt the pelvis a little bit. And that's what we are trying to stay aware for of and avoid doing that. Sometimes it's not possible to avoid, but that's the direction. That's something we have to keep in mind as you do that. So keep bringing, pushing the knee to the left. If your right foot crosses over, that's okay. Your elbows are pointing down so your shoulders can return to the floor. And then keep the leg there, release just the hands and keep the leg coming towards you with the strength of your leg. Release the hands. Now from here, extend the leg up. Extend the knee, feel the back of your thigh. Maybe it will cramp a little bit. Flex the ankle, 
extend the right leg completely and then lower the leg bend the knee place the foot on the floor turn the palms up relax the back relax the lower back Then interlace your hands around the left knee and we will do the second side. So when the movement stops without effort, push the knee towards the center of the chest. So it comes a little bit to the right and only when you find the sensation that your, um, the head of your femur is moving out to the left, then you bring the knee towards you. Again, remember the elbows are pointing down and the shoulders are returning to the floor. Both sides of your hip on the floor. And always remember that the other leg, the right leg in this case, even though it's not working, it's not active, you got to keep your knee pointed towards the ceiling. So if your knee is falling to the right, bring it back. We really want the hips stable on the floor. Then release the hands. Keep the leg right there. Place your arms alongside your body, palms down. And from here, Bring your navel down if your lower back is sensitive. So bring it down, making that space between lower back and the floor a little smaller, and then extend the left leg up. Remember your knee has to extend. Your left hip is touching the floor. Do not lose the contact. So the knee is opening from behind. And then flex the ankle and see if you can feel even the sole of your foot, left foot stretching. Breathe. Notice the massage that your breath is giving you. And then now everyone bring the navel closer to the floor, lower back closer to the floor, palms down, press your hands into the floor, but do not bring too much tension to your neck and head. Extend the right leg up, both legs together and pressing. Knees extending, toes towards you. Feel your lower abs. Keep bringing the legs towards you, then release the ankles and then bend the knee, place both feet on the floor. And then allow the soles of your feet to connect and the knees to drop to the sides. And then interlace your fingers, place your hands under the head or open the arms to the sides. So if you have a lot of freedom in your shoulder, always um, have your um, fingers interlaced and hands uh, under the head. If your shoulders are tight, if you had a shoulder injury in the past and there is a lot of sensation, a lot of rigidity, it's better to work with the arms open and slowly build up towards that, that adjustment with the fingers interlaced. So here, Turn your head to the right, gently, be kind with yourself here. 
feel your back, but do not press anything into the floor. And see if you uh, try to find a little bit of space. See if anything has opened and you can allow the head to go a little bit more. Notice what part of your face or head, maybe the ear is touching your hand. Breathe in. And as you release, rotate your head all the way to the left. You're not gonna, going to pause in the middle. So move really slowly. Keep the neck open. Find the end of the movement with kindness, being gentle not feeling too much sensation, not triggering our nervous system in any way. Try to feel your whole body releasing towards the floor. Really feel gravity here. Then go a little deeper with the neck movement, neck and head movement, only if you have that availability, only if you're not putting too much effort into it. And then slowly bring your head back to neutral. Release one arm at a time. Keep the palms facing up. Nice. When you, when you bring one arm at a time, you can really feel the difference. Notice how one side is different from the other, how the dominant side is more rigid in most of the cases. So try to never rush to get in or out of the pose. And if you feel the urge to get out of the pose, notice that that may be an indication that you should have released uh, before I told you to release. So now slowly bring your knees up. Feel your groins here. Allow the back to rest on the floor. And then separate your knees, hip width, and also ankles and feet, hip width. Not a whole lot. So now, place your right ankle over the left knee and let your right knee fall to the side. So the, that, that bone right that, their ankle bone is not on top of the knee, but it's right where the thigh meets the knee. So rest your foot there. And allow your leg to open to the side away wants to open. Make sure both sides of your hips are on the floor. Feel the weight. Notice if you're leaning, if you are. Try to bring the weight back to both sides. Breathe slowly here. Really notice if you are allowing 
that knee, the right knee to just be resting in this position. Now from here, I want you to try to hold your right ankle with both hands, one from above, one from below. And then pull the ankle up and towards the left shoulder. Keep the knee, right knee dropping to the side. The foot goes, right foot goes up and towards the left. Yes, beautiful. Be gentle. Notice the outside of your leg, stretching a little bit. The side of your right thigh. Don't be aggressive here. Make sure that you're not allowing the contact of your hip to with the floor to be lost. And from here, loosen, release the hands at the same time, extend the leg up towards the ceiling, hands rest beside your torso, extend the knee, lower the back into the floor and push the heel up again like we did before. Make a longer leg from behind and then release the ankle, bend the right knee, place your foot on the floor. If your palms are down, you can turn them up now. Pause for a moment, reflect on the bows, what we just did, you just did. Feel the back on the floor, upper back, neck relaxing, head relaxing. Feel the contact of both sides of your hip with the floor. And then slowly place the left ankle over the right knee, right where your thigh meets the knee. Allow the left leg to rest. Your knee will go to the left side, the left knee. Make sure the right knee is pointing up towards the ceiling. Notice your body releasing here. Notice how your hips touch the floor, right side, left side. Remember, you're not pressing the back towards the floor. The only thing that is happening here is you keep your upper body relaxed on the floor and you keep the lower body passive. Only gravity is working. Notice the sensations. And then hold your left ankle with both hands. Again, one uh, on the top, they are the one on the bottom. And then bring the leg, the foot towards you towards the right shoulder and also up towards the ceiling. So you're pulling it up and towards you. Gentle, notice the changes. Go back to the awareness of your hips on the floor. So remember, you're not flexing the ankle. You're not doing anything with the ankle. The foot is relaxed. 
and the right knee is pointing up towards the ceiling. So if it's falling to the side, to the right side, press the base of the right big toe into the floor. Keep the same adjustments that you did when you're working with the previous side. And now release the, leg, the hands and extend the leg up all the way to the ceiling, knee extending, flex the ankle, toes towards you, your arms alongside your body. You can turn your palms down here, bring the navel in, lower back going towards the floor, and then bring the right leg up. And this, extend the right leg up, both legs up now, now don't press them together. They are separated and your work is to bring the lower back down and extend the knee. So feel your sacrum touching the floor, feel as the pelvic tilt happening here. So the base of your spine is really glued to the floor. Then bend the knees, place both feet back on the floor. And then slowly interlace your hands, your fingers under the head. And then release one leg at a time on the floor. Only if your lower back is not bothering you. If you have lower back pressure here, discomfort, Keep your knees bent. Otherwise, just release the legs. Allow the legs to be heavy, feet separated. Everything again, melting towards the floor. Notice your breath. Just rest here. So the previous pose is really great for the sciatic line. And um, you get your, you are all the time here in this class, the back on the floor. So feel the weight of the front of your torso pressing. And as you breathe, Feel the back going towards the floor a little more. Try to notice the subtleties, the micro movements that your body makes when you're not in control. So give up all control, just observe. And again, bend the knees, place your feet on the floor. And now you have two options. You can work with your arms the way they are now, hands under the head. If you have nothing going on for you in your shoulder, or lower back. If you have lower back issues or shoulder issues, open the arms to the sides and turn the palms down. So bring the knees together, ankles together, feet touch. Now press the lower back into the floor, observe the engagement of your pelvic muscles. Keep that engagement. 
throughout the pose, keep making the lower back go towards the floor. And then extend your right leg up, but keep your knees touching. Keep bringing the belly button down. Notice here if you're pressing your hands uh, towards your head and your head towards your hand, try to release that and bring that leg with the knee extended all the way towards you. Find the end of the movement. Find a little bit more knee extension. Push the heel away from you. Then flat, uh, release the ankle, bend the knee, foot on the floor. Do not release the lower back. Keep bringing the lower back towards the floor. Keep the pelvic muscles engaged. Extend the left leg up. Knees are together. Knee extension. Don't bring too much tension to head, shoulders, hands, neck. Try to isolate that area. Keep bringing the lower back down. Belly button is sinking. Flex the ankle. Bring the leg towards you. Find full knee extension. Your heel is trying to get away from your leg. At the same time, the femur bone is, the head of the femur is grounded on the floor. Beautiful. Then release the ankle, bend the knee, finger, foot to the floor and then connect the soles of your feet, allow the knees to drop to the sides. Now again, allow your breath to slow down little by little as you stay here. If your lower back is sensitive, you can keep your knees pointing to the towards the ceiling. Your only focus here is on the body being restful. So if you keep feeling sensations, discomfort in any part of your body, you cannot relax. You cannot be restful. So if you need to bring knees up, it's better to bring knees up and not to excite the nervous system. Notice your chest open, notice your breath flowing. Also, if you have a tendency to have your neck, uh, the front of the neck closed, when you have your hands under the head, you can point the chin slightly up just to open the airways a little bit. And with the breath moving freely, feel the wave of relaxation coming to you. Then slowly rotate your head to the right. This time we are not exploring. We are just interested in notice the body releasing even when you move the head. So nothing is tensing up. There's no specific goal here. 
is just a gentle stimulation of the neck, but keeping the body restful, everything restful. And then bring your head back to neutral. Switch the way you have your fingers crossed. Again, if your chin is close to your chest or throat, tilt the head a little bit, chin goes slightly up. Relax everything before you move. Make sure that everything is dropping here. There is no tension in any part of your body. And only then rotate your head to the left, but noticing that that release is still there. So if you move your head just a tiny bit, that's fine. That's even better than moving a lot. It's what is available for you today. And as you stay here, absolutely passive, observing your body release, feeling the wave of restfulness. Notice your breath flowing. Notice your nervous system. Notice your thoughts. Notice everything that is present. Feel the micro movements happening as you release even and even more towards the floor. Then slowly return your head back to neutral. And then bring your knees up. Release one arm at a time. Notice your shoulders releasing. Keep your palms facing up. So every time the palms face up, there's an outward rotation inside the shoulder joint. So notice that happening. The chest opens slightly. And then interlace your hands around the right knee, bring the knee towards you in a straight line. But keep this restfulness within you. Now we are approaching the end of the practice. So it's definitely not the time to add effort. So just notice the lower back going towards the floor and then release the right leg. Move to the second side, bring the left knee towards you, gently. Then keep your left hand on your left knee, release the right hand 
And then bring the right knee towards you and grab your right knee with the right hand. So both knee are com knees are coming towards you. If your legs separate, that's perfect. Not a problem at all. Just don't force it in or out. Just bring it in what is neutral for you, for your hips towards you. Feel your back on the floor and then slowly release both legs. Allow your arms to be on the floor resting with the palms up. And then release your legs on the floor and let them be very heavy. Feet dropping to the side. And again, just rest. Be with your breath. And you will have distracting thoughts. The mind is always working. And we are not trying to make the mind stop. We are just trying to notice the patterns when we are resting, when we are excited. So every time you get distracted, go back to your breath. Maybe you can feel the sound of your breath. And that is a sound that only you can, can hear. Then very slowly start to bring your awareness back to your practice area. Move your extremities as if you're waking up in the morning. You can stretch. Do what feels good. Feel your body. And then bend the knees. And then roll to the side at your own pace. Feel your back. It might be sensitive, which is normal for a class on the floor the whole time. And then gently press your hand into the floor, come up to seated, simple cross of legs. Feel the weight of your spine, of your torso. Release the shoulders. Allow your hands to rest on your knees or you can bring your palms together in front of your chest. If you want, tilt your head. Nose pointing towards the tips of your fingers. Take a deep breath in. And as you release, Finish your practice. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Ethel, Thank for you. joining. Thank you. Y'all yeah, have a great day. Thank you. You, you too. too. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.